Take the month of October, add in some dreary weather, and sprinkle in some chills, and you've got the recipe for flu season. Thanks for staying up with us tonight, everyone. I'm AJ Hilton. The first line of defense against the flu, a vaccine. And as Fay Lee reports, the health department is recommending you and your kids get one with flu season officially underway. It's the start of flu season and also the time for little Matthew to get his vaccine. And he's like starting to grow up. We just decided that if it's the best way to protect him a little bit. Perhaps a small price to pay for getting this season's protection. MSU family medicine physician Dr. Edward Rosick says having the flu, a contagious respiratory illness, can lead to some nasty symptoms. People will come in saying, you know, Doc, uh, I started having a, a headache and kind of chills and body aches in the morning, and by that night I had a fever of 101, 102, 103. According to the Michigan Department of Community Health, at least 12 people in parts of lower Michigan have already gotten sick from it. And they stress getting the vaccine is the best way to stay in the clear. We want to make sure that people are getting vaccinated, not only to protect themselves, but again, like I said, to protect those in their lives that are potentially more susceptible to, get, to getting the flu. People most susceptible to the virus include children, the elderly, and others who have a weaker immune system. So a flu vaccine is recommended for anyone six months or older. Um, and at this point, again, it's really making sure that we're protecting everyone, but especially those high risk populations. Doctors also recommend eating and sleeping well, which can help you keep a stronger immune system to battle the virus. In Ingham County, Faley, Fox 47 News. The current vaccine will fight against the three flu strains that have already appeared in Michigan. You can call your physician or local health department to find out where to get a shot.